you believe Congress should be going home? No. You should get the appropriation bills done. We've got work to do. We should get us for energy independence. So in the next year, the price of gas is lower. We should get the border so you feel safe. We should do Parents' Bill of Rights that's sitting again over in the Senate so you have a say in your kids' education. Think about how many kids are now being left behind because of COVID. We told them to stay home, but we never did the makeup for them. So there, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, uh, final interview before he leaves Congress. Uh, he did it on One Nation. You can see that tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. He says Congress needs to postpone its holiday vacation and stay at work. As the clock winds down, for the Senate to reach a compromise on border security, Ukraine funding, Israel funding, as well as Taiwan funding before holiday recess. Senator Mark Wayne Mullen is doing a lot of the hard work. He is the lead liaison between the House and Senate and joins us now. Senator, where are you at with negotiations? And you guys are staying, but the House is going. Are you okay with that? Well, there's not a whole lot the House can get done until, uh, until the Senate finishes the work on the supplemental package and the border. So I, I get why they're going, uh, but at the same time, it's frustrating that the White House has waited this long to even engage Brian on negotiating with us. We've been, we've been trying to negotiate for months. The problem is we messed up because we, were, we thought we could negotiate with Schumer, kind of find out he's just a puppet for Biden. And, uh, and, the, and the White House just engaged literally in the last week. It's almost impossible to actually get true border um, security and border re, uh, reforms done. Remind, remember, Brian, they haven't done any type of uh, immigration reform since 1985. That was Mitch McConnell's first year in office and, it was, and Reagan was still president. It's, it's a very complicated yes. piece, and we're going, we're going to try to do it in a week. It's just, we can't get it wrong. we got to make sure we do it right, and that's going to take some time. And you do have leverage. Uh, I, you know, yes. I think the aid is necessary. You think it's necessary, but you said not unless you fix the border. The country <laughs> wants the border fixed. Can you give us three things to look for at home to see if this is really legislation that we feel so good about, that you guys want? Yeah, one, we have to do something about asylum. Uh, the asylum process has to change. It needs to go back to remain in the first country entry, which we have a pact with Canada and Mexico. Uh, United States is the only one that doesn't, doesn't enforce that, meaning that in the first country you enter, you have to claim sure. asylum. That would stem the flow by 70 percent. 70 percent of the individuals crossing our border right now are from other countries than Mexico. Uh, second of all, we got to have true enforcement uh, with the border. So if we ca apprehend someone, we need to be able to send them back and process them right then. What they do right now send is them back, not send them in, right? Send them, yeah, like, get send a plane them ready and fly yes. them back. Yes. Right now, they get a piece of paper that they're legally inside the United States for four to eight years while they're waiting a court case. And the second thing is we got to have actual increase in border security personnel. Uh, right now, when within an hour, typically, when they go on shift, they're already out of right. service because they apprehend so many individuals. We don't have enough people on the border to actually secure it. So, Senator, those are the things you want. I think most yes. people watching right now agree with you. So what do you think you're going to get? And when Murphy looks across the, the, the table to you, does the Democratic senator also agree with you? Does the White House look as though they're going to sign off on that? Well, it, they're going back and forth trying to play shell games with it. For instance, they're trying to come back to us and say, uh, how about we stem the flow by a set number of 100 people or 200 people? That's a drop in the bucket, literally a drop in the bucket. When you think about we're having over 10,000 individuals a day claim asylum. Back when Obama was in office, they considered it a, a national crisis, and they were only having 21,000 a year. We're doing that every other day right now. And so one or 200 doesn't count it, uh, it doesn't count. When they start talking about personnel, we want them to secure the border. What they're wanting to do is have more people to process individuals to get them out of the, the, the holding centers and into the United mm -hmm. States. That's absolutely ridiculous. So we're not, we're not really, we're not really so far apart of what we want. We're, we're so far apart on what the actions will be. And, and I think at the end of the day, right. we're gonna have success here. Good, I do. You have leverage. Uh, it's, yes. It's, you really have leverage, and you're just trying to do the fair thing. This is not political gain. It's for the country. For and the I country. think most people understand that. Uh, Senator, thanks for what you do. Appreciate it. I look Brian, forward to talking you. to you again. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.